It's Sunday 2nd of June and today is my last day in this apartment and in this city. And weirdly it's a beautiful day for the first time all week. The sky is blue, the sun is shining, it's super hot. I've actually been inside the flat all day. It just turned 6 p.m. because I have been editing all day. It's basically been a regular work day. My Moving Diaries part one vlog is uploading as we speak. It took so many hours to edit and I did it so last minute because of all of the moving hecticness that's been going on, but I'm still on time. It's still going out on Sunday, so hats off to me. It's 6 p.m. I need to go to bed at 11 p.m. to wake up at 6 a.m. to get ready and move to London with my boyfriend, which means we only have five hours left in the day to seize the day. As you can see by the mess in the background, I've already been packing up my final few bits, so I just need to finalize that before I go to bed. But other than that, I'm pretty much free to have some fun. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do, but I have to take advantage of this beautiful warm weather and the fact that I'm literally not going to be returning to the city that I have fell in love with over the last year. So I definitely I definitely want to do one last hot girl walk around the city that has been like the one habit I've stayed super consistent with every single week and so it's just gonna be nice to just look at everything walk around I'll probably pick up dinner from out listen to my romanticizing life playlist in my headphones and really just soak it all up how far I've come and reflect on the fact that I'm really leaving. So this is officially Moving Diaries episode two. Within this vlog, you will see just the reflection of today, how I'm gonna be spending my last evening in this city, the entire process of tomorrow, me and my boyfriend driving down to London, unpacking everything, how we're gonna spend our first night. If you haven't already, be sure to check out Moving Diaries episode one, which was uploaded last week. And there's also gonna be a Moving Diaries part three and part four, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss them. This episode of the Moving Diaries series has also been brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the best all-in-one website platform built for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online regardless of their knowledge or experience within the business world. You can literally be a business owner by the end of next week because Squarespace has a wide array of blog posts where they teach you how to use every single one of their tools. They give you advice, like free advice on how to stand out online, how to create the most beautiful website alongside all of their tools like email marketing templates, website templates, SEO tools. You can create an e-commerce business selling products if you wish to go a more traditional route or you could save time and save energy by selling your time and your services meaning you don't need to worry about ordering in inventory or staying on top of stock counts you can literally within the comfort of your own home use Squarespace's scheduling and calendar tools to set up appointments with your client base and sell your time you can coach other people you can create free ebooks and downloadable resources online and sell them through Squarespace so you're making money easier than ever so so I highly recommend that you guys check out Squarespace for a free trial and whenever you're ready to launch you can come back to this video because in the description below you will find a link squarespace.com forward slash vlogs where you can get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. So before we start the very necessary reflection and just honoring this era of my life and the flat I have to catch you guys up on what happened yesterday because it was so fun and of course I vlogged it so here are some clips from what happened at our leaving party yesterday. It's Saturday 1st of June, which means it's our leaving party with all of our friends before we head off to London in two days. We are currently at my apartment on the terrace. There's this little indoor room as well. And all of our friends are about to arrive. My friend Kishan is over there setting up because he's a DJ and he's gonna be doing all of the music today. My boyfriend's on his way with all of the food because we're also doing a big barbecue. And then all of his friends and all of my friends are gonna join shortly. And I'm so excited because I've never done anything like this before. And I'm really gonna be in my hosting element today. We have the first guest who's just setting up. Hello. Any words? I'm very excited. <laughs> I was born to do this. Yes. It's a party. Just you're just in your element. You know. You know. New new place. Terrace vibes. Yeah. Sun. He's could, actually very offended I haven't brought him here before. Could be in Ibiza. Wouldn't even they, know. You literally. Could be in Ibiza. They, look, Birmingham, Ibiza. What is it? It gets saying? cloudy in Ibiza as well. <laughs> and then all of this seating for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel that I'm leaving? I, I feel sad actually. I think it only clicked this week when I saw your Instagram stories. It'd be like with an empty flat. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's when it 
at home. Well, Missy Mad. But this is a celebration. Yeah, it's a happy moment. It's, it's, not, a it's not a bereavement. Yes. It's a celebration. Absolutely. There you go, really quick. Yeah, it's true. Don't it's know. true. It's true. Well, I had to change my outfit, guys, because it's either. windy. But yeah. people are like, coming, hey, and my boyfriend just set all the uh, food yes. up. Let me show you. Do you want. Oh, maybe take my oh, drinks. It's not my vibe. On That's drinks. Whoop, whoop. I'm just going to spread out all over here. And then we have snacks all in here as well. Sorry, what did we decide? Yeah, Step with me. Yeah. Okay, music video for it. Yeah? yeah. He's smashed him in Jurassic Park. Yeah. 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 So we thought he was going to be so bad. He was going to be so bad. Yo, put the, put the salute to the uncensored room. Not in the picture, guys. Yeah. Didn't make the cut. It's important, they've got to put it on Instagram. <laughs> I don't know what. Oh, wait, see how it's designed though, how you put the inside. Oh, it's gonna oh. be very, very mud and very minute. Ooh! Expect nothing less. <laughs> apartment and I was literally editing the moving diaries episode one vlog until like one o'clock in the morning it's just been so hectic but now let's reflect on everything that's happened in one whole year of living here and I'm gonna use my camera roll to help me do so this was my first full day living in this apartment my friend came to visit me and she was at the leaving party yesterday then I saw my other friend in the evening and we did a little girly night and honestly this has been the first time in my life where I've made like really and cultivated really close female friendships in my life not only in this city but I've grown closer with my other friends in other cities because I feel like having my own space allowed me to host little things and just have more freedom and really grow into my own I'm just looking at these pictures of spontaneously going to bars because they were a five-minute walk down the road from my apartment but I just felt so free and I was just having fun all of the time all the date nights with my boyfriend as well guys it's only over the last year that we've actually been able to see each other more than once a week oh my god i remember this phase so this is when i would push my desk and my laptop up, up against my window because i was writing the book in this phase like every single day this was september 2023 i'd only been living here for a few months but the view just helped me like get into a zone and then we're getting into things that i achieved while i lived here i got my first ever billboard this was in london leicester square i went down to go and see it around this time my podcast was launching as well self-obsessed in partnership with spotify that was so huge like guys i literally set up my podcast while i was living here i bought the microphone and everything i it literally never existed before i moved here oh my god this as well i spoke at a birmingham university at their business society and i was invited to speak on a panel that was such a huge moment as well and i got to meet so many of my followers that live in birmingham and are students one of my favorite self-love traditions while I've been living here alone is whenever my routine started to get super mundane and boring, I would go on a hot girl walk in the morning, I would blast my feel-good music, I would buy myself a bouquet of flowers, I would go out and buy an ice matcha and drink it all on my walk, and then I would come home, I would clean the flat, I would do my errands, I'd go to the gym, like, I really discovered such a good routine. No, I, I discovered the power of varying routines while living here, because when you live alone, everything's so quiet, you can get bored, everything can feel very repetitive, and so I really took charge of my happiness while I was here. I hit 1 million downloads on my podcast in this apartment, which is now actually on 2 million downloads. I put out the promo for my book and it was officially available for pre-order, which is crazy. So many people are already buying my book, which is coming out this summer. And I did it here. Like that was absolutely crazy. I became an author in this place. 
there are so many other things as well like when I moved here I was on a hundred thousand subscribers I'm now on one million I set up my vlog channel while I was living here as well like I worked hard enough and increased my income so that I could take myself traveling I've been on two solo vacations so far when I first moved here everything was in my hands I had no help I was so stressed there was so much to juggle all of the time and now I have a whole team of people helping me and so to wrap up this reflection truly living here and this first year of my adulthood and having my own apartment has facilitated so much growth so much more self-love so many beautiful connections i found myself a lot um, there's so much more self-discovery to happen but a lot has already happened and i've come miles and miles and miles away from who i used to be all of the struggles i had when it came to friendship or dating or learning to be happy and taking care of my mental health i feel like while living here i learned how to solve all of those things i learned how to stand on my own two feet how to be responsible for my happiness and one day i'll be sat making another video of everything that i will accomplish and experience while living in the new flat but right now let's head out watch the sunset and enjoy my last few hours in birmingham before i have to come back and finish packing It's half past eight, I just came back from a super long walk. I got my favorite dinner, sat by the canal near my apartment and just took in the views. Honestly, the walk worked, like that really started to set things in for me that this is real and I'm going and I'm walking down these streets right now that I've walked down almost every single day for a year and I'm never gonna walk down here again. I'm never gonna have this view again. Do you know how crazy that is? But right now it's time to tie up all of my loose ends and get myself packed and also I need to throw away a few things as well but basically get myself ready so that I can move first thing in the morning. It's 9.30, I've just been packing and sorting things out. I'm almost done and I'm ready to go to bed to wake up nice and early to get ready to become a Londoner. So I just called my boyfriend to just like finalize our plan for tomorrow and say goodnight and everything. And we were like, okay, yeah, bye, goodnight, love you. And then he was like, wait, wait, wait. And I was like, yeah. He was like, do you realize what this is? And I took a second and I was like, this is our last phone call. We're going to be nice to each other every single day and we're going to get to do that. We are never, like, we have been on the phone before bed. We still to this day fall asleep on the phone together. We've done that for almost two whole years, every single night. And now that's done. Matt's daughter. The smell of glasses. I love it. And that's it guys, I'm all packed. It's just about to turn midnight. I literally need to wake up in six hours. This is about to be my last sleep alone. So good night guys, and I will see you in the morning for moving day. This is my quick, quick breakfast, mango and watermelon with a disposable fork, obviously. Guys, take a good look because this is the last time you're going to see me sat on this red sofa in this apartment. I can't believe it. I am very sleepy. I wish I got two more hours of sleep, but I need to get a coffee in me on our road trip. I also can't wait to catch up with my boyfriend. We've barely been able to like fully debrief on how we found our leaving party and everything because everything's been so hectic so these next like three hours driving down to london is gonna be so fun so let's go and that's a wrap bye first apartment and that is the end of this chapter let's go to london <laughs> my 
my last Birmingham coffee. Just got in the car, my boyfriend's just in the back loading up my final things. And I have the best boyfriend in the world, guys. Because if you were watching my vlogs, then you know, me and my bestie Marnie would always go to the same coffee shop, which is actually located in a furniture store. And we were supposed to go this week, and then we couldn't. And I was so sad that I couldn't go for the last time, because we've been going every single week while I've been living here to do work, to get drinks, to catch up. And so I get in the car this morning, and my boyfriend's like, here you go. And he stopped at my favorite coffee shop to get me a peach matcha for the journey. He got himself one as well. And then he picked me up breakfast from there as well. This is about to be the best road trip ever. We've arrived home and now we're about to go on our first London date to grab lunch. And we've got apparently what are the most delicious tacos. Love you. One bite. That is better than the taco place we used to go to in Birmingham all the time. We had our lunch and it was so delicious. Definitely a highlight of the day. I can't believe we've already found like a top restaurant which we love. And now my boyfriend is driving us to a big supermarket so that we could do our first food job together. Which I'm very excited about because to me, this is a very romantic thing. Like I can't believe we're gonna go around and get all of our things and we're gonna go home together. We're not gonna have to say goodbye. p.m. on our first day and we're slowly making progress it doesn't look like much but we have done a lot yet we do have all of this stuff to unpack we need to get food soon as well but we're literally just trying to speed through it but I wanted to show you guys our bedroom because we had some people come in yesterday to deliver it build the bed and we've also unboxed our mattress are you ready for this like the bed is too good this is our gorgeous new bed and if I bring you closer guys all of the bed is made out of this really soft boucle material and just the way it comes out and it's curved like this we looked at so many different bed designs but boucle beds were by far our favorite because we want our bedroom to be super minimal and cozy and the bed just gives that like fluffy teddy bear vibe my boyfriend being very smart noted that the quality of a bed is equally as important as the aesthetic which i normally do not pay attention to so instead of going like the usual route and just ordering a basic ikea bed we got this bed from a company on instagram it's called grandeur designs underscore and they basically came in they deliver the bed they build it for you they fit it into your room but also they take extra care in the ottoman so this actually lifts up and you have a bunch of storage so we've put all of our suitcases underneath and it's basically super strong and durable i've honestly had two ottoman beds in my life both have broken within months so i'm really looking forward to this one we actually found a very similar bed online but we weren't sure of the quality of it so all we had to do was send them a picture and they custom made this for us the bed was with us with Within one week and we got actually a really good price on it as well for reference this is a king size bed because we have a bigger room and because my boyfriend is a very tall man we had to get a king size bed meaning a new mattress as well 
So this company, Emma, actually kindly gifted us a mattress and I am so excited to try this. We're still unboxing. My boyfriend just ordered us a pizza because we're starving and he's about to unbox his dream Hoover that he would not stop talking about. This is like a Samsung Smart Hoover. And what is it? It like cleans itself out. Yeah, so. And I'm gonna keep unboxing. We decided to get the sofa from Dolls and honestly it was really great um, and it got delivered to us really fast because most companies were seven weeks and we needed a sofa in like four days because we were so last minute. We just went downstairs to collect yet another big parcel. Our coffee table has just arrived and it doesn't need to be built. So we're about to unbox it and put it with our brand new sofa. We have a makeshift TV stand and we've got Love Island on the screen. <laughs> Look how gorgeous this is, mint chocolate. Okay, let's dig in. That's a good intro. Oh, <laughs> That's crazy. I just had my first shower guys we watched tv and then i ended up having a little nap my boyfriend finished the coffee table i just feel much better now that i had that little sleep and that got the energy to have a shower i need to do my skincare and then we need to put the bed sheets on and head to bed everything is still very cluttered and there's not much organization to anything but that is the entire plan for tomorrow we've had an extremely long day we've both been up since 6 a.m it's now one o'clock in the morning our sleep schedules are gone we have no routine in sight so i need to wake up at 9 a.m tomorrow get ready plan my day ahead and then a builder is coming to build all of my walk-in wardrobes like this time tomorrow i will have my whole room hopefully like somewhat ready i can't wait and while the builder is doing that we're going to be sorting out a bunch of stuff for the living room so i will see you guys in the morning there we go yeah this is the duvet you chose? Yeah. It's, like, it's so empty. Good morning from the new 
new beautiful bed. Our bed throw came as well. How cute is she? Literally only from Amazon. So cozy and soft. Let's go see what the boyfriend's up to. What are you doing? Fruits. So this is the progress on the Pax wardrobe so far. I have Zach from TaskRabbit who is kindly building them for me. TaskRabbit is a really cool platform where you can basically get someone to come over and build any IKEA furniture or any furniture for that matter. The good news is when you go into my closet room, it's all done. Guys, I kid you not, that builder from TaskRabbit came at 10 o'clock this morning and left at 2 p.m. In four hours, he did my entire custom wardrobe and this shelf, which I'm gonna be putting all of my shoes or bags on. So I'm super, super happy with that. So I thought, let me give you an empty tour of my wardrobe before I fill it. So we have one railing there for clothes and I decided to have a little shelf in between just in case I need the extra storage. More railing underneath. These are some more shelves. Once again, it's either gonna be shoes or bags. Then I decided to have two railings in this one small compartment for mini skirts. And then we have this tray once again, but this is pull out. And then underneath my absolute favorite, I decided to have three of these because this is all for jewelry. You could do sunglasses. These are all Ikea inserts. Everything here is Ikea. The only sad thing is this packed wardrobe came with the wrong lighting. So I bought a bunch of lights that won't even work with this. So it won't light up at the moment, but I'm gonna order some on Amazon and each compartment will also light up automatically. So I absolutely love that. It didn't even take up that much space, meaning this door can still be open. Everything is still so non-stop. It's now 2.30 and I'm starving, so I'm gonna eat some cold leftover pizza from last night. I'm so exhausted. I'm literally eating cold pizza out of Tupperware. And I'm loving it. I did this as a favor. I'm gonna spend the next 30 minutes just sat here unboxing all of the new stuff that we still haven't opened. And the most exciting one of all is this brand called Simple Human, which I had never even heard of until my boyfriend introduced me to them. And basically they make all of these amazing essential home products that are smarter and make your life more efficient and convenient. So we were looking for a good bin for ages and then we ended up getting this one, which has a voice and motion sensor on it. We have the soap dispenser and sponge caddy. This is once again automatic, so you can get your soap out super easy when you're washing dishes and stuff. You can get it in a few different colors. I ended up going with white, and although this might look like your average soap dispenser, it actually sits on a wireless charger. It holds 50% more soap than any other soap dispenser, and it's got anti-clogging technology in the pump. Laundry baskets, where did I get this from? I think Danelle. You would be surprised how hard it was to find laundry baskets, guys. Like half of them were ugly or too overpriced or had terrible re reviews because they couldn't hold their shape. I'm pretty sure I got these from Danelle. They are dual compartments and they have this like wooden feature on them, which really goes with our bathroom aesthetics. Next up, I got the Simple Human Dish Soap Refill. This is in the scent Lavender Mint. And then, oh my God, guys, this is by far the thing I was most excited for. I've never seen any of the brands do this. You just have this little machine that sits anywhere in your home you put your iphone in it when you get back from a day out and it will clean all of the bacteria off of your phone then we have what my boyfriend was most excited for i remember him sending this to me and i was like it's a kitchen roll holder like what is so special about that and then when i looked into this brand i was like no effing way you actually have a pump 
that has counter spray that slots right in the middle of it which makes cleaning your kitchen super easy and more convenient as you can see here it's just an all-in-one cleanup kit for quick little spills guys i'm literally sat on a cardboard box filled with my coats right now because we have no chairs in the apartment just say open can and it will open or you can wave your hand and it will open oh wow you have <laughs> bin bags on the inside that it stores that makes refilling your bin super easy odorsorb pod Wow, each refill pod will keep you odor free for 45 days. Open can. That is so cool. The boy has successfully set up our matching laundry hampers. Look how cute that is. The next thing we just unboxed is this chair for my vanity, which my boyfriend just built. Ooh, it's so cute. I have so much to say. It's like really nice. It feels really good. It's white velvet. I got this, I think it was an independent brand, but I got some Wayfair and it was a really good price. And I love that it has gold legs because those are the, gonna be the accents in the closet room. Okay, next up, something we're very excited about and we will need tonight for dinner. <laughs> yeah, we got this. I wanted this for literal years and I'm so excited for it. Being dairy and sugar intolerant and also both of us just being on a health journey, we don't really eat ice cream. But with the Ninja Creamy, we can make ice cream out of any healthy ingredients we want. In addition to our Ninja Creamy, we also got the Ninja Air Fryer. We ended up doing dual zone. Looks good. We got this dresser from Dolls, guys. We're going for like black and white in the room as well. And then against the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it can cover all of that. Perfect. I'll do that. So I thought I would show you guys the lamps that I got for the bedroom. I got two of these to go on either side of the bed. I only just ordered tables for each side of the bed today, so I'll show you guys them in a few days. So I bought these from Next. I thought the size was perfect, but the color scheme also fits the aesthetic of the room perfectly, just with a simple white shade. Perfect fit. Yes. So the plan for this table is I've already got a piece of artwork which we're going to hang here. Then I'm going to have two little bowls that we can put our keys and wallets in and everything. And then we're going to have other little decor pieces just to spruce up the hallway a little bit. Now that that's done, it's time to finish off dinner. from dolls <gasps> oh, what the I don't think it actually is that you know. <laughs> my pink cushions from my first flat that match this perfectly it's one o'clock in the morning it's been a very long day yet again but i'm actually starting to feel better and like we're adopting some sort of routine like i just prepped a week's worth of chia seed puddings in the fridge so now my breakfast is up to scratch we set up the air fryer we made our first dinner today so i'm actually feeling way better than i did yesterday right now nothing feels weird or unusual or uncomfortable even though we're literally in a whole brand new home i'm barely thinking about my flat before or my life before this just feels so normal like i've been doing it for ages but i'm just gonna take that as a sign that i made the right choice and the this, this apartment gives me such a homey feeling and everything just feels nice and comfortable and I just feel so happy, although I'm also very exhausted. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching the last three days. A lot has happened in this vlog and this is the end of Moving Diaries Part 2, but we still have Moving Diaries Part 3 and 4. Moving Diaries Part 3 starts tomorrow, but you guys will be seeing it next Sunday and throughout that vlog, you will see how we're going to be finishing, furnishing the apartment. I'll go more in depth with that 
all of the stuff like I've literally been ordering I think I've ordered like 10 things just today so I'll be showing you guys all of that and also taking you through how the routine is developing through these first few days of being in the new apartment and then part four which will come out on the following Sunday will be a finished apartment tour some clips of our housewarming party that we're hosting this Saturday and that is all for now thank you so much for watching I appreciate you guys I actually posted a bunch of moving content on my Instagram stories and my reels and the amount of love and support I've gotten from you guys has just put the biggest smile on my face I'm so grateful that we've grown such a beautiful community and you guys show so like are so outspoken with your love and support of me you spoil me so much honestly um I will see you guys same time next week on Sunday for a brand new vlog I love ya bye